The Masquerade. Welcome to the GG Environment. Hi, I'm Christine, and I'm here to introduce GG, a revolutionary app and web-based system that allows you to securely communicate and share files with other users via emails and texts. You can attach files such as JPEG, QuickTime, and PDFs to those messages and set the lifespan. Once the lifespan is over or you delete the content, it's permanently removed from our server. Get it? Got it? Gone. Gigi is easy to use with a number of features for the tech-savvy crowd, too. Let's take a closer look at how Gigi works. Using Gigi is simple. The first time you open the app, you'll see the login screen. All you need to do here is enter your email address. A PIN number is automatically created and stored on your phone or tablet. If you or someone else tries to log into your account on another device, it won't be possible without that number. This feature alone is a great way to keep unwanted guests from accessing your private information. From the home screen, the first thing you want to do is tap Add Contact. Then tap on the search bar and enter the name of the specific person you're looking for. By tapping the book icon instead, you can select your contact from your phone's contact list. When you see the person you want to add, just tap on the name and then tap the invite box. Once they accept, you'll be able to start sending messages. If you need your contacts to download Gigi, you can post a download link right to your Facebook and Twitter feeds by tapping the share icon. Back at the home screen, your contacts will now appear. Each contact is labeled with a name, photo, and the timestamp for when their last message was sent. If you want to send messages to a whole group of people, you can do that too by creating a group. Just tap the create group icon and you're on your way to the most time effective message you'll ever send. The group you're creating will be at the top of the screen and all your contacts at the bottom. Just tap the contact you want and drag them into the box above. Tap the checkbox after you're done to save the group and return to the home screen to start sending a message. Tap on the icon for the friend you want to contact. Now you'll see the chat window. In the text box below, you can enter your message or tap the plus icon to see what other cool things you can do with Gigi. You can also tap and hold your finger on the contact's picture for a couple seconds to manage the contact's options, like creating a group, updating settings, clearing communications, or blocking the contact. With the clock icon, you can adjust how long your messages will stick around. Even better is the G Destruct or G Destruct X. Setting this will cause your message to automatically self-destruct after 12 or 4 seconds, respectively. Your next option is the file icon, where you can attach a photo or video that you already have from your gallery. After you choose a picture, you can move and scale the image to show only the part you want. When attaching a video, you can play it back before you send it to make sure it's the right one. If you just want to send audio, of course you can do that too. Hit the mic icon, then tap the red button to begin recording. Before you send the message, you can play back what was recorded. You can always attach an audio file that was previously recorded or MP3 files. If you want to record new video or snap a picture, just hit the camera icon. It'll automatically open up your camera app so you can take the picture and then send you right back to Gigi after you're done. Last, but definitely not least, is the email button. From here, you can email your friends and leave them a message for later. And best of all, you didn't even need to leave the app to do it. Now that you know how to send a message, it's important to understand how to keep them secure. Gigi has you covered from top to bottom. From the home screen, tap on the cogwheel icon to access the settings menu. Here you can set how long your messages will be stored. Once the deadline ends, the messages will be deleted from the server. That means it can't be seen on your device or that of your contacts either. Under security, you have two solid choices. One is set password. Once you tap that, you can enter, then confirm your password. Now, whenever you use GG, you'll need a password. That's a good way to keep people out but you can also set a pattern instead. Tap on Set Pattern, then Set Pattern Login. Now you'll see the Draw a Pattern screen, 
where you just have to drag your finger between at least four dots. Once you're satisfied, hit continue and enter the pattern again to confirm it. Passwords and patterns are great and all, but what does happen when someone tries to access your account? With the intruder report, you'll know just who did. The intruder report will show the code they attempted to log in with, along with their GPS location. Just tap on their picture to see the location on a map. Additionally, you can set a security question from the settings. Tap on the question box to see a list of questions and then enter your answer in the box below it. From the settings menu, you will also have the ability to manage your GG service subscription. Securing your information should be a high priority. As technology changes, the public has more and more access to your private life. It's necessary to take every precaution, and Gigi provides you with that level of security necessary to truly keep communications private, while allowing your interactions with others to be quick and intuitive due to the revolutionary interface. To learn more about how Gigi keeps your information safe, please visit gogigi.com and look for the app in the iTunes App Store and Google Play Store today.